What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to create a virtual assistant for us in Python. And it's something like Alexa or Siri, you may say. We are going to name it Max. And we're going to make it very simple. Like we will have just three functionalities. Like first of all, it can tell what time is it. It can search something from Wikipedia and tell us what it has found. And it can play some videos from YouTube as well. So before we get into it, I want to ask you that if you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified immediately. All right, so let's get started with the video. At first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual environment as we need to have some modules installed. So let's open up a terminal. And if you don't have virtual environment installed in your computer, you need to install that first and then you can create the virtual environment in the project. But as I already have virtual environment installed, so I can directly write Python minus n. And I'm going to name it then. All right, so the virtual environment is being created right now. Once it gets created, we're going to activate it and then we're going to install the module that's, that we need. Now, as you can see, the virtual environment has been installed. We can now activate it by source then scripts activate. Okay, so now the virtual environment is activated. Let's clear these things up at first. Okay, now we're going to install some modules with git install. Let's install speech recognition. Then the text to speech version 3. I want git. This will be used to play the YouTube videos and Wikipedia. All right, so as you can see that we have successfully installed all the modules we needed, but we also need Pi Audio. As I'm using Windows here, if you can see, if I try to install with pip install Pi Audio, you're going to see that we will be facing an error. As you can see that we already faced the error. So what we need to do is we need to install pipwin. Alright, so once pipwin is installed, now we can install the PyAudio with pipwin. So we will type, instead of pip install PyAudio, we will type pipwin install PyAudio. Now we will be creating a script. Alright. Let's clear this terminal. All right, so now we can just close this off and let's start coding. The first thing that we need to do is we need to import the modules. So let's do import speech recognition as SR import by ETS X3. Let's import by what kit import Wikipedia. And we also need the date and time, so we will do import date time. So now what we need to do is we need to activate the speech recognizer because with that, the audio that we're going to put as input or the voice command that we will be giving, this will be recognizing it. And for the response, we will be using the ITT SX3, that is the text-to-speech version 3. We will have a variable in listen, and we will initialize recognizer. And now let's initialize the response or the voice of our virtual assistant. So we will go for engine equals ittsx 3init All right. Now we're going to create a function that is the voice of the virtual assistant. So we will be naming it speak and we will pass text inside it. And then we will write engine.say text. This is what the virtual assistant will speak or as I said that the name of the virtual assistant we will be providing is max so I'll show you how we do that and then engine run and wait okay now we're going to define a function which is take command that is this is the command that we will be giving it to the virtual assistant and it will take it now let's go with the try block at first with sr microphone as source to understand that if the program is running or if the virtual assistant is listening so let's print listening 
Okay. This is the voice command. Listen. Dot. Listen. Source. Do the same dot recognize Google voice command command dot lower. This is made into the lowercase because we need to match the string and stuff. So it's better if everything is in the lowercase. So right now we are going to, as I said, that we are going to call it Max. If you if you already know that when you are calling Alexa, you need to say Alexa first, and then you need to give the command. And in case of Siri as well, you need to say Hey Siri, and then you need to give the command. So likewise, we need to call it Max first, and then it will, we need to provide the command because without saying Max, the assistant won't work. So let's try if Max in command. Command equals to command dot replace max and as we have given a try block we need an accept and we don't need anything here so we will just pass and after that we will return the command okay so by calling the take command function we will be getting the command as we have given here it will check if we have max in it or not without max then it, it won't work now as for running max that means the functionality is that we are going to work with it so we need to define a function called run max the first thing that we are going to do is for the order take command we are going to call the take command function here and let's print out that what we have got on the order so first of all let's work with the time if time in order daytime dot daytime dot now strf time that is we're going to put the format and we want our clock to be a 12 hour clock so for that reason the string will be something like percent i and percent m and for am pm this will be person p okay so with this the virtual assistant or max will speak out the time and then let's go for speak the time is and then the time will be set by max okay so now we have got the time let's go for an else if now let's look for play because now we're going to create a function where Max will play a, a song or play a video on YouTube. So if we find play in order, then what we're going to do is we're going to play equals, we're going to replace play from the string or from the order. Order dot replace play with an empty string and then speak. Now Max will be saying playing and the name of the video or what we have ordered. And after saying that, it will play on YouTube. Play. Okay. So with this, a YouTube video will be played based on the voice command to Max. Okay. So now the last thing that we're going to create is we're going to search something from Wikipedia. Suppose we will be looking for a person. So let's just keep it simple that we look for a person in Wikipedia. So what we're going to do is elif and we're going to write who is because that's how we're going to search if who is in order. So if in the order we find who is, then it's going to search in Wikipedia. Let's name it a person equals order to replace here as well. We are going to replace who is with an empty empty string uh, info equals to wikipedia dot summary person one let's see what the info that we get and as well as let's 
let Max speak about the info as well. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. And finally, let's just, for our safety, let's give an else command that if Max does not understand what we want to say, then Max will say, speak, please, say it again. Okay. So that's it. Now, what we need to do is we need to run this run max function. Heard that. Let's have a while look while true. Run max. Okay, let's call it and end it. Save. Okay. Now let's open up a terminal. I think we already have one open, so let's use that. And let's close the other one. Okay. Okay, so let me put on my earphones because I need to hear what Max says. And now let's run the Python script. So, Python script apply. Okay, so now as you can see that it says listening. We can give a command. Please say it again. Okay, it doesn't understand what I say. Again, it will say please say it again. Please say it again. Max, what is the time? The time is 03 colon 53 p.m. So you can see that it, it can say the time. So now we're going to put some other command, like let's play something from YouTube. Max, play the United Stand. Playing the United Stand. Hello everybody, good morning and welcome to the United Stand. This is your latest Manchester United news and transfer news to... As you can see that it can play a, vid a video from YouTube. So now let's try another command, that is, uh, let's search something from Wikipedia. Like, we will search or we will try to get information about some about a person. Max, who is Cristiano Ronaldo? Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro, Portuguese pronunciation, Quitijano Ronaldo, born February 5th, 1985 is a Portuguese professional footballer who plays as a forward for Serie A club Juventus and captains the Portugal national team. Well, there you go. We are going to close this. Okay. Okay, so we have closed the virtual assistant, or Max. And let's close this. Well, I need to say this, that sometimes you might face any sort of error while running the application when you run it with, an, uh, with a Python of version more than 3.6. So sometimes you need you may need to downgrade it to Python 3.6 and then you need to run it. So I don't know about the, any other operating systems. Basically, I just did on Windows. So I'm saying it on that behalf. So if you face that sort of error, you can just downgrade it to Python 3.6. As if you if you notice that I have all, I, I faced it myself. That's why you can see that I have downgraded the Python version to 3.6 and then I have run this. So now it's working fine. But when I was trying it myself, I tried with a Python 3.9, that is the latest version in my computer. And with that, I couldn't run. I was facing a lot of errors. And then, like searching some of the places, I found that if I downgrade it to Python 3.6 or less, then I can run it properly. So basically, that's something you should keep in mind when you try, try to create this application or run it. I found this working for me. So you might also try that as well. So basically that's it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and comment what you thought. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel as well if, and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified immediately. So with that said, I will leave today and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.